Hey Level people, hey, hello to all my beautiful friends all over the world and yes, yeah, I'm back. This is Ellen Troubling Kitchen. My name is Ellen and for today's vlog guys, it's a little bit quite late this vlog but I will tour you and I will bring you in uh, one of the castle here in North Brabant. It's, uh, it's called uh, Castle Heswake. So here I am doing my selfie vlogs at the uh, front page. So this is a moated castle guys near Heswijk is a place in the Dutch province of North of Brabant. So I will let you know a little bit of the details of the ca uh, Heswijk castle. So this is a restored uh, 11th century fortress and museum of 19th century life with guided tools and an event program for example that's why we're here because my sister Riza is a hosting a wedding of of her friend here so this guys is a uh, highlights for good for kids accessibility with wheelchair accessible entrance amenities good for kids up this update this place and you can also find it in profiles and Facebook LinkedIn and Instagram and uh, the address of this guys is Parker Plots Castle, Tunnel Day, Nord 4. It's a 55473 VA Heswick, Denter, Netherlands, guys. So it's located in Denter, Netherlands. And it's open about uh, every day and closes at 5 p.m. Yeah, you can find also in the Wikipedia with this. So the location, guys, is Hiswick Castle was built on a meander of the small ri river I, uh, uh, I don't know how to say that. And the 20th century canalized AA now flows at some distance of the castle. However, in the early decades of the 21st century of the original bed of the AA closer to the castle was restored and now gets enough water. The AA was crucial for transporting heavy goods between... Uh, than Bost and Helmond, and perhaps even somewhat higher upstream. So this gave an economic reason to build the castle and the river. On the other hand, the AA was a barrier for east-west movement, especially by the um, armies. Where's the lion? Can you see the lion? Up in there. Over there, the lion. There. It's mommy. I know. Whoopi. Whoopi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Call mommy. So about the building guys, the main castle has been built on top of an old moat. In the cellar there is a long layer containing fragments of bog iron and stuff. Remnants of the first castle. There are also 14th century wall fragments visible in the cellars. Here are the outer walls which a thickness of 3 meters. Above ground, most of the main castle is 15th century. So, but the similar Sir, uh, semi circular form of the old older part still betrays its moat origin and the old part has two round towers in the corners and one of, and one old overhanging tower the ridge leading to the inner courtyard ends at the base of the disappearance square gate lower so about the history we are um, going to tell you about the medieval times the original moat and bailey castle was erected in 1080 the first mentioned lord of his was Amel amelricos van his mentioned in the 12th century later that century is hubertus van his was mentioned in the 13th century uh, 13th the lords of the that gave their name to the castle were succeeded by Wolraven Bentheim, Bentheim from the family of the Counts of Bentheim. Wolraven was still alive in 1308. That year, Count Jean Men of Macken was in control of the lordship and he remained so till his death in about 1346. After that, Jean van Bentheim 
grandson of Walravain, became Lord of the Heswick. So about a short briefing of the museum, the castle was restored in 2005. The current castle was museum attempts to reflect the life and traditions of the middle of the 19th century. Following the recent restoration, guided tours of the castles are offered. The armory of the castle is used as a wedding location at the municipality of Bernhays. And under the promenade cellar roofs, wedding receptions can be held in the carriage house of the castle. Accommodates training facilities as well as group congress and presentation rooms. You can also see uh, references, notes, external links, and uh, etc. and so on. And guys, thank you so much for watching this. And I really hope so that I will have more time to make vlog, short vlogs, guys. And to those uh, friends of mine that are still uh, active of watching me, even if I am not responding to them, but uh, thank you so much always for for uh, watching and still uh, loving my vlogs. Thank you so much, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I am, would like also to thank Rob for for this big um, opportunity for seeing this beautiful castle. Mwah.